Yo, 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 what's up, what's up? Holla at your boy, Fragrance Family, and welcome back to the Pastor Smell Good YouTube channel, where the sin is always lovely and the siage is absolutely divine. I greet you guys in the name of peace, prosperity, and you guessed it, perfumery. It's a great day to be strolling these YouTube streets, dishing out some more content to some of my favorite people on the planet. Welcome back to the channel yet again. You know, it's a wet, sloppy day here in Louisiana, but based off the summer we had, where our ponds and ravines and ditches and everything else was completely drying up. I'm just glad we're getting our water tables back up. I mean, the rain has been falling here. It's kind of almost been like a monsoon or like we're living in a tropical rainforest, but whatever, it's all good in the neighborhood with me. The Lord knows just what to do in sending the rain and the sunshine. But on today, before we get into today's featured review, I wanna remind you all, you need to get over to my Facebook page, JTH Perfumeries. JTH Perfumeries. I'll link it down in the description. You need to get over to my Facebook page and I need you guys to do me a favor and go ahead and like and follow the page. You'll know when some reviews are going to be dropping. You're going to know when I'm out in the field. You're going to see when I'm landing new fragrances and all of that stuff. So pretty much the conversation continues over there. So that's JTH Perfumeries. I'll link it in the description. One more thing before I get into the review. Guys, look, I need some help with some stuff. All right. If you guys own a bottle that is almost empty of Royal Oud by Creed or Bond Number no. Nine's New Harlem, those are the ones I can think of right now. If your bottle is running low and you are soon about to be done, would you consider Blessing Smell Good with the cap? Listen, I'll pay the price it takes for the um, shipping and all of that. But, you know, if you're about to end the bottles and you're just about to throw them away or whatever, uh, send your boy the cap. Also, if you don't mind, if you got a uh, Silver Mountain water cap, go ahead and send that to your boy Smell Good. You can reach out to me in my email, which is going to be in the description, um, and we'll just go ahead and work from there. I'll pay the shipping, guys, okay? I'm not looking for you to just pay to ship something to me. I'll go ahead and take care of that. Only if you're finished with the bottles. Don't send me nothing and, you know, you got a half a bottle to go, third of a bottle to go. If you're almost finished and your plan is to just throw it in the trash, New Harlem, Silver Mountain Water, and what's the other one? Creed Royal Oud. If you guys got caps to those, go ahead and send it to Smell Good. And now a fourth one while I'm thinking about it. I'm a wise lyric. If you're about to finish that one, send your boy the cap. I'll pay for him. All right. But anyway, let's go ahead and talk our fragrance talk for today. We're taking a trip to the house of Amouage. Yes, feast your eyes on this beauty. We're taking a trip to the house of Amouage. Now, let me tell you guys something. This particular scent here is called Enclave, which features a very dominant spearmint note. And what I love about the bottle and the color design, it totally evokes that. Maybe you can see it. I wish I had a light to shine through here, but you can see pretty clearly through the bottle. You can see the juice level and all of that. I was able to land this in a fragrance group. Shout out to my classmate and homeboy, Kenny. He sent me a little small sample of Enclave and I've been addicted ever since. So I had to go and secure myself a bottle. Got a pretty good deal on this in a fragrance group. Guys, we don't pay full retail for this stuff out here. There's no reason to do it. Get into some fragrance groups, find some discounters, and go ahead and get your fragrances there. All right. Now, what I want to say about this particular house, my collection here has been growing with the house of Amouage. I'm telling you guys. But be careful buying stuff these days because a lot of these scents are neutered. Uh, this is somewhere along the lines of a early vintage bottle of this. Uh, probably not the first, but it's one of the earlier years of it. Uh, as you can see, we got an... Um, magnetic cap here i think that may give away the fact that it may not be the oldest one but my point is it's made in oman so this is some real real good stuff here so let's go ahead and get into the notes with this particular scent you're going to open up with notes of peppermint you're going to get um cardamom cinnamon and pink pepper now some people note it not as peppermint but spearmint uh you got some olibanum you get some patchouli vetiver rose Amber Extreme, Leather, and Labdanum. So that's what we got here with this particular scent. Now, I'm going to go ahead and give myself a fresh application of it. And you know, I'm going to just run off my mouth with this stuff. All right. Get that out in the wind. 
Mm -mm -mm. Oh my goodness. Let me tell you guys, straight out of the atomizer, we got green spiciness. That's what we're dealing with. Straight out of the atomizer. As soon as this stuff opens up, you're going to get hit with a bunch of green spice. And that's going to be from the spearmint, of course, coupled with some patchouli. And you're going to get that cardamom, you're going to get that pink pepper, and you're going to get the cinnamon. So this is going to open up extremely spicy. Guys, this is warm. This is warm. You know, I take that back. This isn't warm. This is hot. Look, it's so hot. If it's 40 degrees outside, just spray this on. Don't even put a jacket on. That's how hot this stuff is coming out. So it's this very spicy uh, spearmint note uh, coupled with that patchouli that's just giving that sexy green minty component as well. I love the fusion between the spearmint and the um, patchouli there. The, you know, the patchouli gives this dirty earthiness to the scent that carries uh, this sexy uh, nuance to me that I really, really appreciate. I like patchouli and scents. And then you get another round of green because of that vetiver. And I don't pick up a whole lot of rose, though it is there, but it's not highly dominant. Now, the patchouli and the vetiver, uh, they assert their presence more in the mid of the scent. But even in the opening, I really, big time, pick up the vetiver and the patchouli coupled with that spearmint and those spices. Talk about extremely, extremely nice. Then as the fragrance dies down, you're going to get like an amberish stream, which is going to put some sweetness on the scent. It's going to put an almost vanilla style sweetness on it. Then coupled with this labdanum and leather note. Now, you know, leather is a note in a fragrance that makes something extremely masculine to me. Uh, there is a cleanliness with leather. And when I say cleanliness, I don't mean like clean as in green, but I mean like cleanliness as far as, um, you know, like a new car. Like, you know, when you open up a new car, you smell that beautiful leather. The car is just spotless, you know. There's not a speck of anything in that vehicle. That's what I mean when I talk about the cleanliness of leather. So you really pick that up in the base. So when you get all of that working together, when the fragrance rounds out into her own, Amouage Enclave, this is what it does for me. It gives me this um, spicy candy cane thing. That's what I'm getting out of this. I'm getting a sweet and spicy fragrance profile that reminds me of a sweet, spicy candy cane. That's what I'm getting. And it's absolutely beautiful. I absolutely adore this stuff. This stuff is absolutely clutch for me. Um, let's go ahead and talk about the rating of this scent. What do I rate uh, Amouage's Enclave? Let's go ahead and talk about the performance of it. And then I'm going to tell you a few things about, you know, compliments and all of that. For as projection, does she get up on off you? Yes, she does. This is a beast mode projector on my skin. This does it. But it's also a wonderful scent bubble in siage thing. Uh, this fragrance lingers, man. This fragrance reminds me of Mama Duck crossing the road and she got six, seven, eight of her babies behind her. This is what this scent does in terms of siage. And it's absolutely wonderful. Uh, it gives you a beautiful scent bubble. You know, when you turn your head and do this, that, and the other, you're just picking up the stuff again. It's gorgeous. As far as the longevity of the scent, 10 to 12 hours. 10 to 12 hours is what I'm getting out of this scent. Um, as far as compliment factor, is it compliment? Is it a compliment monster? Absolutely. I went to a funeral one day in the summer and I put this on because that's when I got the um, sample of it from Kenny, I think. It was around the summertime. And I just lightly applied it one day, went to a funeral and I got compliments out of the wazoo for wearing this stuff. Although I do think this scent fits more in cooler temps, um, it, it it was pulling compliments even in the heat. So um, I would prefer to wear this when it gets cold, uh, you know, one to two sprays when it's warmer um, outside. Um, this particular fragrance here, last night I wore it to a, um, a theater thing. And at the theater event, I think I went at like six o'clock. The event started at uh, seven. So I probably sprayed the scent on at like 530. Well, all throughout the night, guys, when I'm twisting and turning in the bed, I'm still picking up this stuff like it's nobody's business. Then I went to church this morning, reapplied it. I ended up putting some on again. So this bad boy here fits like serious occasions to me. When you got a suit, sports coat on, when you want to go somewhere and impress, when you want your presence felt, yes. 
I'm a wash. I'm Clave does it every day and twice on Sunday. Um, I would suggest that you sample this before you buy it. Now, unless you're like me and you know the note profile really turns you on, uh, don't do not do not blind buy this. Some of you, you're not going to be able to take the spiciness. You're not going to be able to take the spearmint note in here. But I've always liked spearmint. Even coming up as a child at the snowball stand, I would get spearmint snowballs. Uh, when I would go to my grandpa's house, he would have the spearmint peppermints. This is just the type of stuff that I'm into. I still get spearmint mints to this day. So this fits me. I know that this turns me on. But if you're not one of those people, you need to sample this before you get this scent. So what does this baby rate on a scale of five out of five uh, stars? Well, I got to give her a 100. I mean, it really does. This scent is everything to me. Five out of five. This is a 100% free throw shooter from the line. I'm going to uh, enjoy the bejesus out of this scent. I'm going to spray it like it's nobody's business. And I'm going to wear it with confidence because this stuff here excites me. So if you think you'd be turned on by a spicy candy cane, a sweet spicy candy cane scent, I would tell you to go ahead and cop a bottle of this, but don't do it until you sample it, all right? So that's my take on Amouage's Enclave. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Talk back to me in the comment section and remember what we talked about with those caps. Only if you're about to finish the bottle and you're gonna throw them away. Holla at your boy, I'll pay the shipping, send it on out to smell good so I can have a full presentation. All right, talk at you later, peace out.